Once you log on, you will be taken to your main Gmail page. And you'll notice at the top right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click this little arrow, you will see your actual email address. And you can, you can change privacy settings and you can also use this to sign out. Now, the very first thing I want you to notice is that you click here to compose mail, which again, I know many of you already know how to do. You put this, the email address of the person that you're trying to um, respond to right here, the subject right here. You put the message right here and you hit send. So I'm not going to spend much time there because I know that many of you already know how to send email. A uh, reminder that you can go to sent mail, which is right here, to see any email that you've already sent out. Okay, that's really good, especially if you send out a message, a message to a, a teacher, and they say they haven't received it. It's always important to save those kinds of um, pieces of information, so you can say, "Hey, it's in my box. Let me go ahead and read, resend it, or you can print it." So I'm going to go back to my inbox, and again, what I want to focus in on has to do with the special features that Google provides all students. So I'm going to take your attention up to here where you see documents right here. I'm going to go ahead and click documents and you'll see another pop-up box is going to come up. One of the best features of Google Mail is that it allows you to create presentations as well as Word documents and attach those documents and send them to either your teacher or your classmates. So this is great because many of you may have a laptop but maybe you don't have PowerPoint or maybe you don't have Word and you can really do this right from Google which is a really nice feature. So the way that you access that feature is to go to create I'm going to create new, which is right here. See that? I'm going to click this little arrow. And you can see that I have the ability to, to create documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, drawings. And this is pretty cool. So I'm going to just focus on these two, which is documents and PowerPoints. So I'm going to click document. And this looks just like Word, pretty similar to Word. It doesn't have all the advanced features of Word, but it will do what you need it to do. So let's say that you have a paper due in English 093. And um, you are sending an expository essay to your instructor. The cool thing is that you can actually type this entire essay right here via email. And we think this is a pretty cool feature. And then once you're done, you can send this. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But I also want to show you that you can make changes to your document. You can bold, just like you would normally do italicize underline, you can change the font color, you know, so you really do have some general features and you can play around. You can add hyperlinks, which is right here, adding hyperlinks. You can add pictures. I'm going to go ahead and just add a, a picture. And again, just enjoy it, but it's a pretty cool feature to have an email and one that we found to be very interesting. You can also, of course, um, do numbered listings. You can still move things around in terms of just like you would do in Word. You want to center things, and I'm just really playing around with it at this point. And that's exactly what you need to be able to do as a student. So once you finish your document and you're ready to send it, what you have to do is go over to share which is right over here in the right hand corner and notice what it says um, email contributors email I mean collaborators email as an attachment and published to the web so I'm just going to show you one feature which is email as an attachment so let's say that I'm your instructor and you want to send this to me always label the document so that something coming into your instructor's email account, they know what it is. So I'm going to call this expository essay, number one, and I'm also going to just go ahead and put my name attached to it. And it's always good to write a message to your um, instructor.
All right. So once I've done that, all I have to do is send it. And that, believe it or not, is that simple. Okay? That means that I just created, without even leaving email, I created a document and I've sent it. I can send this to my classmates. And of course, you can do, you know, beyond um, um, just for instructional things, but you can send this off to your friends or what have you that, that attend Lawson State. Now, the other thing that you need to be aware of. If you just and again when you when you go out to your email, I'm still under documents. I just want you to be aware of the things that you can do. You can print from here. You can print preview. You can see that. You can rename the document. You have editing features. How you can view it. You can insert different things in there, such as drawings, comment notes, um, horizontal lines. You know, you can just kind of play around with it. I'm not going to go through all of this, but I just want you to be aware and to spend some time out here playing around with it. Now, I'm going to go click Documents again, and that'll take me back to our original page. And as I was sharing with you under Create New, you can also do a presentation, which I know students, you, you a lot of students like this. Many of your college instructors will require you to do PowerPoints. So you pretty much can go out here if you do not have PowerPoint. Again, it won't have all the features, but you can do some basic formatting of slideshows. You can add pictures. You can change the colors for color fill. If you go under slide, you can create a new slide, duplicate a slide, delete a slide. You can insert tables. Okay. You can go under presentation settings and change the background, which we're going to do right now. So again, what I did was, in case you missed it, if you go to format, presentation settings, I can change the theme, and I can create a theme. I'll pick the blue, and now I have a theme, and that's how I did that. Again, format, presentation settings, and I can change the background to a different color, okay? or change the theme altogether. Again, if I want to um, insert, I can insert video, which is pretty cool. I can insert shapes. Uh oh, I didn't mean to go to YouTube, but you can you can see that. Since it's already okay. Um, so if I wanted to put this math clip in, I can go there and I can select my video and I can put video in my actual PowerPoint. So I mean this is pretty awesome. We think it's a really nice um, addition for you as students. Okay? Uh, and really insert, I'm gonna go back to insert, I'm gonna do an image this time. Just browse and get an image that you want to put in. We'll do the, the, the famous Freshman Academy um, logo. Hit OK, and it'll bring an image in. And of course, you can stretch that image. And again, you guys probably already know how to do this, but just in case, I have a few people who don't. You can play around with that. And then, of course, you can type in your message. Okay, so now it's time for you to actually send this um, PowerPoint. So you do exactly what I was saying before. And before, I, before we actually send it, always make sure you save things. So you can save under File, and you can save it just by clicking Save or Save. Don't save and close, just click Save. So you always know you save. Now that you've saved it, let's go to Share and click Email as Attachment. This time I'm going to make sure it comes to my JDoe account. So I'll say JDoe so we can see it. Remember, if you're sending to another student, don't forget it's at students.lawsonstate.edu. Always title it. And give a little message. All right, now go ahead and click send a copy to myself. That's always good. Now, the other thing I want you to notice is this. At the top, this is the number one thing that many students miss. Make sure you let the system know how you want to send it. Do you want to send it as a PDF? Do you want to send it as a PowerPoint or a, or a plain text item? This is a PowerPoint, so we want to send it as a PowerPoint and click send. 
Okay. Now let's just check to make sure everything worked out. So to get back to email, what do we do? We click good mail. Go ahead and click mail, and we should see that that PowerPoint. There we go. It's been delivered. I don't know why it sent it twice, but that's that's fine. So you can see that the PowerPoint has been sent. That is a really really nice feature to have. You can do. Um, last but not least, before we go, just let, so you know, you can search mail and search documents just by going into this feature and clicking search to see if you can find um, missing documents or documents that you, um, you know, may have written two months ago and you can't see them on your screen. Okay. Enjoy and have fun with your Google email accounts.